Hey everyone, uh, welcome to, oh, uh, would have been a live game, but it's not, because obviously you don't tend to do games like this live, but, well, here we are. Um, anyways, as you can see, we're here playing Sias, we start off with a Doran's Ring and Potions. We're up against a Vigar. The Vigar scale is really hard, so we're going to be playing us pretty aggressively. If we can, if not, we'll just sit back and farm, obviously. Um, of course, obviously, you see how it goes. He's obviously got a fucking Glacial Augment with the uh, Sorcery secondary, so he's going to be trying to kite us if he can. He doesn't want us getting away, obviously. We're not going to be letting him here. We're going to just hit him a couple times, take a positive trade, because he doesn't have a good all-in. Poke him if we can with our Q. Always make sure if you're not going for an all-in, poke with your Q. Um, if you obviously if you can't even get close enough to poke, just farm with it. You've always got a reason to be using your Q. Um, obviously you can go Archangel stuff with um, Silas if you want, but it's not really the best. Now, for AP matchups, I'd like to take Spectre's Cowl as soon as I possibly can get it because it's very very useful. It gives me HP regen, it gives me magic resi, it gives me some health to work with. Basically everything I can want as Silas. Since Vigar doesn't have much sustained damage and he's vulnerable to all enemies, he's the perfect matchup for Silas. Like if you're if you're fighting a Vigar as Silas, you've got a pretty pretty good time as long as he doesn't really land his E. Too often, he's a nice, easy target, as you can see here. This wasn't exactly our best trade, got under tower, but we managed to get away with what we want here. He tries to eat us again, and we just walk out of the thing. While we walked back into it in this situation. Still, gotta remember not to panic when he eats you. His event horizon is very dangerous stun, but if you don't, if you're just in the gay baby jail, you should be fine. Here we're a bit low on mana, we don't have enough for E right away, but we managed to get it and get first blood. Now this is very good, Silas scales up very, very nicely, and with that we can totally, totally win. As a lot of people will say, winnable. Here you can see my CSing is absolute trash, but it is what it is. Vigar uses his TP, I can get out. And then we recall since we've got a cannon wave. I'm just gonna start buying parts for the Spectre's Cow here. And then we're gonna head right back to lane. Silas doesn't have a lot of roam potential, so you really just wanna treat it like a kill lane, get a kill, get a plate if you can, come back to lane. It is what it is. I take a little bit of damage here because I'm not really focused on dodging, but you can see I'm immediately going there. I want him to waste that E. He doesn't really realize that I'm faking it out waiting for him to use his spell with his long cooldown. Now he's used two of his spells, I can go for an all-in if I want. I miss it here, but I trick him when he goes into the laptop. Never do that sort of shit, that's just asking to get fucked. Like really, really, you're gonna get destroyed if you try to shit like that. And you can see we managed to pull it off once more, I ignite him. And he's dead. I'm gonna hit level 6. Now, Vigar's ult is very nice for us. And the other ults we can totally steal here are Vives and Teemos. Well, really, anyone's ults here are good, but some of them aren't really as good as others. Um, obviously, their AP. Bolts with shields tend to be really good, um, which means Senna, Senna's ult is nice, we can give massive shields to people, 
Qui-Gon's ult is good for obvious reasons. Because, you know, AP scaling. Uh, Vice is good because it gives us CC. Well, an extra CC at least, and, and a chase down if we need it. Timos is good for anti-gank measures. And... Draven's is just good in general for finishing off kills, uh, getting some pressure, getting some poke, and stuff like that. When, when you're playing Silas, you've got a few CC bulk cooldown. Uh, you can see I died, I got a bit too greedy. I was thinking of backing there, but I saw potential to go I saw the potential to go all in and I went for it. And it wasn't really my smartest idea. Finally I have my Spectre's cowl, so I can absolutely tank anything he throws at me. You can see we've got a nice gank coming right into lane here. You can see he used his E, so he's literally the freest fucking kill on the planet right now. Get that E, Q, and let Quinn get the kill. She wasted her flash here for sure. There's a, you aren't getting that. There's no way. I couldn't have followed up with that either. The Vi's just got too much health. She's a bit tanky. Can't really die of tanks and bruisers very well. You'll just get killed in the process, unless you're so fucking dead, it's not even funny. Even still, there's not there's not a lot of reason to be dodge uh, to dive to be diving very often. You don't need to do that sort of thing. Here I agree for a second plate. Maybe not my smartest idea. Vibar shows up, so does Vi. I duck into the jungle here. Now, obviously, when you think about this, you want to go somewhere where they can't really stop you. I do my best here. I slow them with my Q and try to move, but Vi flashes. I flash as well, uh, but you know, Vi is Vi. He's like that gap closer. Much better than ours. Vi is probably going to go for the Herald. It doesn't really matter in the end. I or she's gonna try and gank Quinn fail miserably because it's Quinn. That or she'll just go back to farming her camps. You can see she doesn't have her blue or red up anymore, but her other camps are still there, so... We know she took her red and blue already because she had them on her. Then yeah, she ganked Quinn. Oh, she actually got it. That's a surprise. It was probably thanks to Teemo. His damage over time will really get you if you're not careful. Here you can see I warded to make sure I don't get ganked again by Vi. Uh, Vigar walked into the second hit of Q. Uh, the first part of Q isn't very damaging, but the second part is really good. If you can hit that uh, second part, it's mm, it's some tasty damage. Even if you put like 9 AP, like you usually do at the start of Silas, you'll do some sweet, sweet damage. I just baited all his heat. That's exactly what I was going for there. You can see I was moving back and forth because I wanted that fucking E out of the way. You can see you've got that nice burst. I just barely live here. I'm missing the CS. I don't really have much of a choice on it. My attack speed isn't fast. I don't even get how I live that. I don't get how I live that, but Teemo just straight up ends here. I get some damage on him to make sure kill. Kill credit. If I had kept moving, he probably would have executed, but I wanted that money. Teemo was not very threatening, so it doesn't matter. Even if Teemo gets to late, the only thing he's really dangerous to is people who don't know how to deal with him. can't force any objectives because he doesn't have any good moves. 
he, the only thing he can really do is bully out of lane. And if you can avoid being bullied out of lane and just kind of farm under tower, he can't do jack shit to you. But yeah, no, he's definitely, like, if you're laying against him, he's a teleport lane every time. Grab teleport and just make sure to stay alive. The whole point of dealing with Tino is to not die. If you can do that, you've already won. The only way he gets dangerous is if he gets, like, shitloads of kills. You can see I deal a lot of damage to Timo. He QAA'd me a bunch and he just yeah, didn't do much. We got Vigar's flash out of him for literally free. Like, just don't don't waste a flash if you don't think the ability's gonna hit. It's not worth the waste. Sometimes even if you're dead, don't waste the flash. Again, I, I get free damage on him just for doing my thing. The initial hit of Q does a jack fucking shit, but again, the, the second hit is very, very nice. You can see that that blue team is looking for help at the drag. We're just kind of doing our thing, putting pressure. We're a bit too low on health to, to force much. So we're just kind of waiting until we have a bit more health. I see they slay Ash, and I'm like, eh, maybe I should go in. And so I do. This is maybe not my best decision, though. I come in here, I get Drake, and that's always nice, but then, you know, two more of those two more things. I see Vilo, and I decided to try and get her, but I die before I can. I was dead either way, I could be trying to get a second kill. Uh, they get this Drake, I'm pretty sure. It's just not stealable. Um, I have no clue what the fuck Ram does. He, he doesn't he doesn't hit that. Why don't you hit that? You would have lived. You probably would have lived, man. Why? You have a fucking tower right there. You just gotta walk over to it after you hit that. Here they're deleting our vision. And now we've respawned. You can see there's a little bit of visual, but we've got Timo's poison on us. You know we're not poisoned, but yeah, it's whatever. We can see our items, we've got a Ludens, we've got a Spectre's Cowl, we've got a Refillable, mm -hmm. and we've got the Ring. Again, the reason why I like Spectre's Cowl is because it gives health regen on damage like Doran's Shield, so it's basically Shield. Except better. And on top of that, it gives Magic Resi, so it's 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 good into any, any magic damage. Uh, Lane. Honestly, even if you're top if you're top lane and you're up against like a Timo and he's building a Queen's AP, it, it's even then it's a viable item. Any AP lane, Spectre's Cowl is basically you just you don't even buy the the mantle. You just immediately you don't even buy the, the shield, you just go right into mantle. And you just farm up until you've got cowl, and then you can exist in lane. It's the same thing, like, if, if you're okay, it's still P bar. Or if it's too late, you go and just fucking buy the fucking low magic mantle and go right into the cowl. It's. Yeah, sure, it's a bit of a tank item, but like, why the fuck not? And then once you've got a lifesteal item, you can turn it into a. Spirit Visage. doesn't really, like, obviously if you're the, the only really good damage for the team, maybe don't build the tank item, unless you're, like, literally fucking carry, like, you're the only one doing it, but if you're not the only one doing it, but then you won't need that sort of thing. Your, uh, Vibar just kind of fucking fails his game entirely. Gotta hit those event horizons, man. You know, he just misses his shit. The only thing he manages to get is, you know, this one non skill shell, his part, that's what happens when you feed a Silas. He scales pretty good into mid night. Even here, you can see exactly what I do. She's wasted her Q, so we can just move right into her. She became the freest fucking kid on the planet. Here we also get Tino because Tino died. Or at least we try to get Teemo. Quinn um, does that. At least it's not an int. 
Team gewinnen wir noch da. Still, it is what it is. Can only do so much, you know? But yeah, here we recall. Or, okay, we were gonna recall, but then we see fucking Shaco getting fucked. Rand shows up, so I decide to recall. Mm -hmm. Actually, do I? Or when I start recalling, I see that they're not really deep. And I'm like, eh, I gotta see his ass. Uh, except that I'm still out of the floor. And you know, Draven does Draven things. It's kind of a dumb though, and gets himself a girl. And then there's Senna. I don't know. They're not the smartest. More free kills for Brand. Brand wasn't like our best player here, but he definitely gets the second highest kills. He's just because you know he's Brand and you can just do brain dead shit and it works. Don't gotta think if you just deal certain amounts of damage, you know? And even as Silas, you don't need to think too much. Of course, there, there's a limit. Like, you gotta be able to hit your fucking skill shots. Same thing with Brand, but like once you can hit your skill shots, you're basically the fucking easiest champ on the planet. I mean, Brand is so fucking easy, you don't even know, you don't even know what to go, which is the same boat path every blood time. You always go up more, you don't know what fuck you do. Of course, they fucking place a bunch more fucking than they're all. Then they, when, I mean, we just flash our people on, he's not getting really alive. I refuse to allow that. You don't get my fucking tower in the Not after I'm fed. If I gets a Triforce, that's pretty standard. Get that nice shutdown bow for Bram since he's popping off a little bit. And then, I, I don't know what team was expecting here. Like, you're not gonna have to just give up. Here's Draven, we kind of just bait him here. Draven's already got heal cuts for me. Doesn't really matter, I'm the best spot. I'm gonna know how many kills I've gotten at this point. It's, it's, a, it's a lot. I end with 23 or was it 27? Don't remember. I have like, it was a 14. Didn't quite see. But it's a lot. You get 10 kills on Silas, you're pretty good. Unless unless there's people with more kills than you. But if you keep up kills on Silas, you're the strongest person, that's not even a question. I think the only person who really is stronger than Silas for a while is, like, once he's fed. Is Ezreal, because Ezreal is just, you know, the mid game fucking god. He doesn't scale into late particularly hard, which, you know, everybody has that late game dream, but. He, he dominates mid game. Like, once he's got those two items, he's the strongest person on the board. If you play around that, you should never lose. And if you do, it's because you couldn't end fast enough. And I mean, that happens. There are enough your team and you can't help you win. Then, yeah. Now we've got 10 kills right now. Okay. go through the river, Vi's looking like a tasty little snack as we go right through the jungle and just fucking light up. We steal her home here. We don't want her getting away. And then we end her. Now. 
this game is something else, let me tell ya. You might have the tower lead right now, but it doesn't particularly last long. I don't really know what uh, Ash was thinking with that bolt. I guess some people like to like, do the extra long range ult because it's good for a lot of things, but yeah. I mean, so go with one and one and Drake with his heal cuts. It don't matter. He can't kill me. The thing about Silas is even if you've got heal cuts, he's just gonna heal a lot anyways. The only time his heals start to become irrelevant is late game when, in, when you know, they don't really scale as hard. But, you know, it is what it is. You can't stop him there and you can't stop him at all. Yeah, late game it's, his heals tend to not matter as much as his just pure damage. Rampage. I'm using Conqueror, so I'm going for more Blues or Reset, which is why I have the Magic Resi. If I was going Electrocute, which is a thing on Silas for obvious reasons, then I would have built pure damage, I would have gone decap in this game, but like, yeah. I didn't need a decap to win this game. I did need to be smart and actually tell people what to do though. Brand would not listen to anything I asked of him for the life of me though. And the reason why you can see me spamming my abilities is because I get empowered auto attacks with every ability I use, including my ulti. So it lets me clear towers faster. And here, I decide to just deny their CC completely, and then I get fucked. But my team, my team does decent, they can't do something at all. I'm not gonna go this, but I don't know. Some good damage. I don't really get what Brand's thinking here. They have vision here for sure. He just sits there. I think he gets a kill though. No, never mind. Well, it's him who gets a kill. Shaco cleans up. Still, that was a pretty big hint by Brand. That's why he didn't get more kills. If he was safer. Shaco just barely gets out with his life. Fly is too dead to chase. Whew, but Shaco makes the mistake of sticking around. That's what gets him. <clears throat> it's a bit late. Played this game over, holy shit, six hours ago. Didn't realize the party went on that long. Still going on a little bit. Blue team's turret has been destroyed. Whew. See, so I hear we're coming to contest or if we don't really do it though, but like whatever. We can just kill everyone. And you can see how much I feel like they're not stopping if they can, like even if they want to. Pretty sure I just healed for 633 HP, so that's a good third of my health. Here you can say pop this, and I catch Bygar. He hits that. And well, I just flash on him. He's not getting it. You don't you don't contest Drago on Fed. You don't get Drago on Fed if you don't expect to live. And here I walk into that shroom. I didn't see that place earlier, so I had no clue it was there. But we get the we get the, we get the, oh, the inhibitor. Jeez, I can always remember these terms while I'm playing the game. I really do need to update my username. Here I get some nice damage on Teemo. Gee, I really wish that first hit on the Q did more damage. It's like it's so little damage for a multi-hit ability. Here I just had to go in. I don't remember if I did, do I? I don't think I do. Yeah, I do. I really don't get what Teemo was doing. He could have killed me. Here yeah, I got a Quadra. Technically, I get a Penta, but because it took so long, the game doesn't really. He doesn't really consider it because Draven respawns. It's a shame. No, 
Apply guards, like, in his base, he's I can convert it from any time, and he wastes it again, and it finally comes back up. I, I really don't get what he was thinking here, but yeah, now he's dead. You see, I was by the respawn. Okay. You know, if I respawn, so now I get to turn. It is what it is. I still haven't gotten, like, I haven't, still haven't gotten, like, te like, technically a pentacle, but I've gotten plenty of unofficial pentas. Uh, yeah, Ash just, I mean, Quinn just walks in on a fucking shroom and dies. It do be like that. I really don't get what Grant's saying here. You don't kite. You don't do this. Don't do that. What are you doing? Don't. Don't. No, you're dumb. Why? Do something. You see what I mean? Like, he could have killed her right then and there because she fucked up so bad. But he just... He lets her get her shield, get her shield and line at him. He was dumb. He could have turned that around. And you can see Shaco doing Shaco things. Which one is the clone? Nobody knows. Except for Shaco himself. Got a nice good bit of HP at this point. 2,640. Pretty sure we've got our spirit visage by now. Definitely want to get that before they start one-shotting us. Yeah, we even got... Actually, we're almost full build. The only thing we have left to get is Void Staff. We've got Gargoyle Stone Plate, which is the second last item I get. The reason I got this here is because I'm literally the only one doing anything in this game. Say what you will, but like, in, a, in team fights, I'm the only one engaging. And if I'm the only one engaging, then there's a problem. When you take a look, I've got 24 kills and 150 gold bounty. And, like... It only came up like three seconds, like at least a few seconds later, which tells me that despite being super fed, I'm just not strong enough yet. Yeah, no, not e not even very much can stop that. It's like no, I'll do the same. Like this, I don't know. Draven's not getting my Teemo can do what he wants. I'm so fucking cranky. Of course I died here because I've got three people focusing on me with my team doing absolutely no damage to the squishies. I probably should have focused someone who's a bit less tanky, but I don't know, letting Vice to see me is a very dangerous thing too. It's like there's no good target I can prioritize here, I've just gotta try and stay alive, and of course. It's Vi, and Shaco's not really got a chance to stealth, so he's just gotta fucking run. But of course, she wastes her ult, so she's got no ult now for a good 90 seconds, probably. Uh, Ash flashes and gets the hell out of dodge. You don't want to die to a Teemo. He's got extra movement speed that's from his W passive. He's got a lot of passives. Uh, here I told Quinn, like, we need to contest this drag. We need this. I need more survivability, you know? And so, uh, Quinn starts to fight with Vi. Vi fucks right the hell off. I believe Vigar TP. Oh, no, no, I think. I don't know. Oh, yeah, that's Vigar TP in there. Uh, Timo comes down to contest. Uh, we just melt him uh, on. We don't, we don't stand a chance in the solo fight there. Uh, Vigar plays down a war, we kill it. And there must have been a war in Bush, that's the only way we could have stolen that. This man had stolen Drake's before. And we had no whatchamacallit, so this was inevitable. And they can hit me whatever they want, I've got fucking Gargoyle Stone Plate. I literally have 200 defensive stats and fights. And it's still not enough. But as we respawn, we should have enough money for Void Staff. If we don't already have it. Shaco's just been getting caught out. He should have he should not have reviewed for the Ignite Summoner. Because he doesn't use it very well. That's just sadly the truth.
he would have done better with Flash in this game. Just because of the gap closers. Team only purchased with decap. Uh, Draven. Oh, I don't. Draven only purchased some mortal reminder. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, because he had Executioner's Call. He just finally upgraded it. Yeah, they really needed that armor pen to do shit to me. Here, you can see I have Visal right now. It's a good ult. No reason not to have it. Literally, it will make the difference between winning and losing fights. I, I really don't get why he just raw ulted there. That was, I mean, I guess the wave clear, but really? You're dreaming. Why are you wasting your ult on wave clear? You know, it comes back and it just hits those two. I don't get what they were thinking. Like, it was obviously coming back. Get the fuck out of the way. Because I see team members for a second there. Bye. Um, I don't have buys all anymore at this point, but I mean, we can throw out of the way if this fight is great. So we can, but we've got a lot of damage. But Senna's low, she's out of the fight, and dead apparently. Oh, they get the fake on that place. This is a kill. Shaco gets off for free because he has Shaco. Um. Grant should have ran with Shaco, but he didn't, and now he dies. Now he gets healed because he's got so much fucking life steal. Holy shit. Quinn's doing exactly what I told her, which was to split top. You see, when you've got so much lane pressure with a fed champ, you just need one person to split, and in this case it was our top laner, she's got high mobility, she can do whatever the fuck she wants, but at any point in time, right? So she didn't just get out. She had to waste her flash because she didn't just auto the inhibitor one last time like she should have. But it's fine. They've got two inhibs down and an open inhib now, so this game is... it's over. Even if they somehow like start making a comeback, like oh, they gotta mess up once, just one really big uh, mess up, and it's over for them. I'm, I'm like, as, even though I'm kind of dying a lot here, I'm like, because I'm so bad, I can force anything I want and go from all at least you know, somewhat positively for the rest of my team. Like, I don't need any more kills, I don't need any more money, I've got like, I just, so I'm getting my team more kills and stuff. I could have bought an elixir of sorcery, but I think that's the final for this game. Okay, and this would be here. No reason not to keep it up. Their bot site in here comes back up. And we go back to lane. Vi is just splitting, that's bad for her, good for us. I just wanted to all be there, but it's whatever. They see me, they run away. I need to do a great first, at least that. This one friend is going to be like, Vi just kind of, just kind of hints. She's not useful. As long as Grand keeps chasing her, she'll never get back to base in time. I mean, regardless, it doesn't matter. They're... Too many of them are dead. We're opening up another in him. Shaco walks into a thing and dies. Now here, I get Grand and Ash to get Drake. Brand does not say a word, so he just kind of did that in his own position. But we get the drill. They're too busy defending. He buys the top side. My first defending towers. That's a free asteroid. You know, we're full build. Stone Plato's on CD, we've got 16 vision score. 
not really my best, but it's whatever. I was just focused on doing what I could to keep us in the lead. Here they're fighting mid-side a little bit, or at least just kind of kiting each other out. They get a kill on Quinn. It happens. She must put him top of like on the players. The thing about splitting is you gotta be you gotta have someone fed and like actually threatening to be splitting. Or else you're just wasting your time. You're giving free kills if you're not fed. No one on your team is fed, you just, you gotta be, you gotta do the 5 before so you can take them. I don't even, I don't even really understand why Brand is good. He should never be split. And he's like, he's like a spike, I get to, you get to end here. They grew too close and Brand was shit or really. Should have got kills and set runs off like a little bit. I'm I'm honestly surprised Brad can do this, but he does. And I just tell all them like, hey, okay, you can end whenever you want here, just do it. Senna can't stop them. Not even if she wants to. And that's it. GG.